how is the relationship between you and your ancestors? Today, family, we are going to talk about relationship with our ancestors. Welcome to Ayo Fan Sisters Kingdom. It's me, your queen, and I am in your area. How are you doing? I pray all is well with you on your spiritual journey and also with your family. Welcome once again. So today we are going to talk about our relationship, our relations with our ancestors. A lot of people used to contact me. Oh, Nana, I've been doing this rituals. I've been doing that rituals, but still I'm not hearing from my ancestors. I'm worried. I don't know what is wrong. There are some other ones who contact me that they want me to get in touch with their ancestors for them. Today we are going to talk about our relationships with our ancestors. My people, it is very important for us to keep a good relationship with our ancestors. We have our deities. We have the nature elements. We have other spirits that we summon or that we work with or whatever. But I always tell people that in everything, number one, you have to put your ancestors first. Because in case of anything, they are the first people. They are the first ones who will guide you, who will support you and help you on your journey so that you will not get hurt. When the wicked ones arise, against you or even let's say you are working with a deity and by mistake maybe you do something and they want to punish you or they want to do something bad to you in that case in the spiritual realm it's your ancestors that will stand and plead on your behalf i once uh, told my story that when my uh, initiation started there was really and up and down and a lot of things were twisted because the water deities wanted, wanted my water deity wanted I wanted to take control first for their initiation but then my ancestors came through and they were like no in anything of our daughter we have to do what we have to do first before anything or anyone or any spirit will follow so my water deities had to wait till I went through the first initiation of my ancestors before the door was open for anything else. Even on my journey, there is nothing that I do that I don't consult my ancestors. Every step that I make, even with my deities, when they allow it, it's okay. When my ancestors are against it, I will not do it. And how does it happen that way? Because there is a great relationship between me and my ancestors. In fact, I am my ancestors. I am the ambassador of my ancestors. I represent my ancestors. So there is no way. Anything that I do to myself, I do it to them. So I'm very careful in this life, every step that I make. When was the last time that you fed your ancestors? It's very important. Some of you all out there, there are some of you, your ancestors, they don't even know you. They don't know who you are. Yes, you have been calling upon them. You have been doing your rituals. But don't think that you can bribe your ancestors maybe with food or with, oh, I poured libation. There are other things that you need to do to get close to them. Because there are people out there, they only get in touch with their ancestors when they are in need or when they are going through hardship that is the only time that you see them that oh i want to pour libation or i want to um, um i want to do this ritual or i want to cook for my ancestors but in good time when you are enjoying your marriage when you are enjoy at work everything is okay the money is flowing you don't remember them when you are enjoying with your friends you don't remember them but I always say, and I keep on saying it, people on our journey, don't forget. When we come to paying homage to our ancestors, 
ancestor worship, ancestor honoring, or however we call it, there is no way that you can put your ancestors away and then go pick them back. When you do that, when you are someone who only get in touch with them or connect with them when you are in need, then you need to change things. Because a time will come, you call upon them. They will not, they will not respond anymore. Because they have other things doing. The ancestors this is a big family. There are other families out there who are in need of their help. So let's say me and you, we are from the same family. I always take my time and spend time with them, with our, with our ancestors. I cook for them, I pour libation, I have their altar. It's not only about me when I'm in need. I even take the time sometimes to fast for them on the other side. Even to get in touch with them, to ask them whether they are okay on the other side or there is anything I can do on this side here that will help them. Then you, let's say you are someone who only get in touch with them when you are in need of money. Of course, they will not be wasting their time with you. Yes, they are there. But you call upon them. That's where I always say that people, you cannot even, you cannot force your ancestors to do shit. Sorry. It's like that. They have their own time of doing things. When you don't acknowledge them, when you don't care about them, when you don't make time for them, it's the same way that when you call upon them, they will take their time also to respond. Not, not that they are not going to respond to you. Sure, they are going to respond to you. You'll be going to places. Those people will be telling you stories. But trust me, they are just relaxed. They are taking their time. Because they want you to go through that. To know that without them, you are nothing. They once walked this life, this path before. They were once here before. You need to work on that relationship to get more close to your ancestors. It is for your own good. When you are into African spirituality or into spirituality, you need to get close to your ancestors. Not only when you are in need. But see it as part of your life. See it as part of your life. Because even as human beings, as I used to tell friends that when you don't look for me, don't think that the time that you are in need, when you call on me, I will answer you. Of course I will answer you, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to be there. And then there are some people who are very tricky and sneaky that when they, they, they think that they are in need. Now listen, I have people like that in my life, you know, but I've just been watching them in my own way. When you call them, they will not even pick your phone. When you write them, they'll wait maybe after 24 hours, then they'll write you back. There comes a time that now they are in need. What they will do in their sneaky way, they will start getting a little bit close to you, close to you, maybe one, two, three or four days. Then after that, they will give you the news that, oh, uh, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? Oh, I need your help. You know, and someone like me who see through every shit before you start, I know where you are coming from. And when you, when, when you start getting close to me, I'll just be at the corner waiting for that day for you to bring your shit. That is for we human in this physical realm. So do you think that you are more wiser than your ancestors on the other side? It is you who give them the power to come to this side, this realm, to come and support you. And when you think that you are so busy and you want other people to be doing your rituals for you, to be doing things for you, sometimes 
<laughs> you may think that even those people, they are calling upon your ancestors, but it's not even your ancestors. Maybe some funny, funny parasites, some funny, funny spirits, you know. So I said, you think that maybe you are calling upon your ancestors or the person that you went to that Baba or that um, priestess or whoever is calling upon your ancestors for you. But in that moment, maybe they are calling upon a very funny entity or maybe some funny parasite spirits that are boring and are just in that area. You know, they came to do their thing and they are charging you for it. And your ancestors, the best way you can connect with your ancestors is you yourself you yourself start with maybe five minutes stay in solitude have some quiet time even a glass of water is enough don't just start cooking and this and this and this you need to introduce yourself to your ancestors when you are someone maybe you have stopped communicating with them Introduce yourself once again. Who you are. I am the daughter of this and this and that. I am the son of this and this and that. Then you start talking. Your spirit will surely lead you when you want to know. Because they have always been around you. They watch you. You remember that day when you, every, you thought that everything was crashing down on you. You thought that, no, this thing, it will never work. They send someone into your life to support you, to help you. They have always been around. They will get nothing out of it when their blood, their bone, their DNA is suffering. They will get nothing out of it. But you need to make that step. When you don't make that, that, that step, they cannot force their self on you. It's impossible. You need to make that step. So when you are into ancestor, ancestral honoring, it's not just like only the rituals and you, uh, um, you slaughter cow, you slaughter goat and uh, fowls and them chicken and uh, uh, pouring libation and that is all. It's not enough. Then maybe somebody will tell me that, yeah, but Nana, I'm not called to do work. It's not only for practitioners. What I'm talking is not only for practitioners. It's for everybody who is into spirituality and into ancestral worship or ancestral honoring. Or how you may call it. It is for your own good, for your own protection. And when you mess up sometimes... You have the right to go to them. Ask for forgiveness. They were once here. You know, the obese, we have some strict one. You know, those are people called the, the evil ancestors. I don't believe in those evil ancestors because evil or good or whatever, everything is balanced. I've never been on the other side before. Maybe you. But one thing I know, that your ancestors are there for you. There are thousands of ancestors. Depend on the situation and when you call upon them. So that one that maybe you are calling the evil ancestor because when he was alive, he don't tolerate bullshit. Yeah, he don't tolerate shit. Maybe that one like fighting a lot. You know, he's always a strict person and it's like that. In time of war. Maybe somebody have taken money from you. The person don't want to pay it. When you have that relationship with your ancestors, I will call upon that one. Other people, other there are other people, they will call that, that one uh, the evil ancestor. No. Everything has to be in balance. You are going through stress. You need to get things in order because everything is just messed up in your head. And you don't know what to do. Call upon that your ancestor that you know that when that one was alive, she or he always, when you go and visit them, they want the house to be clean. They want everything to be in order. Like when you go to them and maybe this tea, this this cup is on this side, they will tell you that no, don't put it, uh, when you put it on this side, they'll say no, don't put it on this side. Just put it exactly where it was. I'll call on that ancestor. 
You know, all the ancestors, they are not the same. You need to have that relationship with them first. And then you will know. And it's not all, all of them that you, 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 know, you don't know all of them. There are a lot. Some of them have been helping you. Maybe you don't even know their name. But it's when you have the relationship with them. They will reveal themselves to you. They will teach you things. You need to have your own experience because when they were on this planet, they had their own experience. So now it is your time. There are some people, some people will be like, oh, uh, for me, I cannot do this because my ancestors have not told me to do that. They want you to have your own experience. They don't want you to do everything that they tell you to do. Maybe somebody will tell you something else, but I'm telling you my, my experience. There are sometimes I will say, I, when I, I, I used to have my quiet time when I'm communicating with my ancestors, you know, then I'll be like, um, uh, or oh, do you want me to do it this way? Then the, the answer will be like, but how do you also want it? Then I'll be like, okay, I would like to have it this way, but I don't know whether um, it, is, it is okay. Is that how you really want to have it? Sometimes even they will allow me to do my mistakes, but they will be there guiding me at the back. They will allow me to do my mistakes so that out of that mistake, I will learn out of it. That's why for me, I don't judge anybody because sometimes, or not sometimes, many times in, we learn through the mistakes that we do in life. Imagine this life, everybody will have been so perfect like you or like some people who claim that they are very perfect. Where will we be? Nobody will have any experience. Life will be, <laughs> life will be that just too easy. Mistakes are there for us, for us to learn out of it. They are lessons, life lessons. We should not forget the topic today. It's about the relationship with our ancestors. They are very important. Stop connecting with your ancestors only when you are in need. Stop connecting with your ancestors only when you need help. Because when you keep on doing that, there will be a time that really you'll be desperately in need, that you need them, you'll be calling upon them, they will not be there. So when you are into spirituality, family, find that time. A day have 24 hours. You lose nothing when every day you spend, let's say, five minutes or even 10 minutes. Start with five minutes or 10 minutes to honor them. When you don't have an altar, just find a, 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 just a small place. Just a small place where you can, whereby you can be owning a white candle, you know, maybe with there are pictures just just a small place or when you don't have anything you just have the picture it's also okay you don't have to overdo things you can wake up in the morning or maybe in the evening before you go to bed you take the, uh, the, 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 that picture be holding it and just remembering all the memories or appreciating whatever that they whatever they have been doing for you that any time they come through, that any time that you are going out, in time of need, in time of sickness, that they, all, they are always there, they always protect you. Not only you, even the family, what they are doing for the family. When you have that relationship with your ancestors, you know, there will be days that even they will tell you that maybe today you need to fast. Today you need to do this ritual for the family. Whilst you don't even have contact with the whole family, but that is what you are chosen to be as a chosen one on this journey. Sometimes I do that. The message will just come, fast for this person. I'm not even talking of that person. I don't even have their telephone number. But I do it. Maybe someone will die. I will just get them and get the message from my ancestors that for the door to totally open so that this person will come and meet us. You need at this time and at so time, you need to pour libation. I have to do it. And all these things happen because I have, I have 
created or I've built that relationship with my ancestors. That's why I can hear them. How many times do you hear from your ancestors? Do you even recognize them when they are talking to you? So do you recognize them even when they are talking to you? All those things cannot just be done in a day. It takes practice. It have been, I've been on this journey since years. With my deities, with my ancestors. You need to be willing and you need to be ready to learn. Because it don't just happen like that. Though some of us are born with it. Some of us is in the family. But still you need to learn. Because this world is full of <laughs> a lot of uh, issues, a lot of problems. There are other things that we need to concentrate on. And I'll tell you that the most important thing to do when you are on a spiritual journey is the relationship between you and your ancestors. Why don't you hear from your ancestors? Someone was asking me or was telling me, Nana, I don't hear from my ancestors anymore. Um, I don't know what to do. First, ask yourself, what have you done? What are the mistakes? Where are the blockages? Where are the blockages? That you are not hearing from them anymore. Then there are those that... Um, um, I was asking, <laughs> I was asking someone who once contacted me when uh, she said that yeah, um, she don't hear that uh, the, that voice of uh, the, the, her ancestors anymore. I was asking her, how does it sound when you hear from your uh, ancestors? You know, it was like yeah, it's a um, it's a very slow voice and uh, it's a holy voice and all that. I don't want to deny what the person is hearing. It is okay. You know, but you don't have to put any limitation. They can contact you anyhow that they want. I said it the other time, true synchronicity. Sometimes you'll be walking, you maybe you just see uh, uh, um, something written on the billboard that maybe, oh, everything is going to be all right or get in touch with someone or whatever. Or, or you'll be going through YouTube. A message will just come. That message will just hit you. There are a lot of things that you need to pay attention to. It's not only a voice. Even in your dreams. It's not always that they come in the way that maybe you, you, you knew. Let's say maybe your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, your husband, your loved ones who have departed. They will not always come the way that you know them. Sometimes they can come in the form of an animal. But once it's an animal, you in, in, that, in that dream, you had that feeling or you knew that it is this person. So you need to be ready and stop putting limits. Not because you want to hear that voice that, oh, it is me, your father. I come in peace and love and light and this and that, you know. People, come on. This is spirituality. Not religion. This is spirituality. Things happen in a lot of ways. When you really make it to build that strong relationship between you and your ancestors. Trust me, family. Anyhow they have to contact you, they will. Wherever they have a message for you, they will show you sign. Not only when you are sleeping, when you are awake. When you are walking on the streets, when you are watching TV, when you are on the internet, like as I'm talking, there is a way that you will feel and you know that, oh, this message is for me or this message is not for me. Your energy.
So you need to work on that. And don't just believe everything that people will say, you know. Oh, I, want, I went here, they said this, they told me this. I went here, they told me this. So you will just relax. They said that I should bring money. They will do this one for me. They will do that one for me. Because you are not hearing from your ancestors anymore. You have been going to places. What about you? It is you who is carrying their DNA. What are you doing about it? What are you saying about it? It is very important for you to understand. That is the only way. Let them know that you are missing them. Who is blocking? Who is blocking? Um, who is blocking the energy that you cannot hear from them anymore? From your side, when you know everything sits right, you have done everything that you have to do, or you are doing everything right the way that you have to do. But not that maybe you have forgotten them. You only go to them when you are in need. You only go to them in time of problem. When you don't know your left from your right. And once they help you, or they send help as your way, and you are okay, you just forget them. A whole year you have not poured libation. A whole year you have not poured libation. A whole year not even a glass of water or cola nuts. A whole year, not even small yam plantain with oil. Nothing. But you are enjoying life. For now, you may think everything is okay. But if you knew the storm that is about. About to blow in your life. You will be very steady and you will be alert. This one is for those who do some rituals and things will be going good and they'll think that, oh, that is for some people will contact me. Nana, can you help me with my ancestors? I need money. And after the money, what next? You got the money. You didn't even buy them drink. Not that they cannot afford it. But you give them the energy to be coming to our world each and any time. You didn't even buy them food. You didn't even buy them flowers. You didn't remember them, not even cola not. Not in nothing. But they are the same spirits that helped you in time of need, but you forgot so fast. You need to be ashamed of yourself. Then when people are talking, you are talking there. How do you want to hear from them? Of course you will not hear from them. Because it's not fair. When you need something, you want to force them that they have. Whilst you did the ritual, because you asked them, you want, the, you want them to do it right now. You'll be forcing them. Who are you to force your ancestors? You need to have that time to wait. That's why I don't believe in spiritualists who go up and down, tell you that when you call me or when you come to me, I will do things for you. We're doing a twinkle of an eye and uh, through the help of our ancestors, they take their time because they know what is in front of you. They have to look what is good for you. This is not magic. You need to have patience. That's why a lot of women go to places, they are being raped, they are being abused by uh, 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 um, some spiritual men out there because they cannot wait. They want everything fast, fast. May you have patience so that you not fall in trouble. So I'm going to stop today by saying, Try to build the relationship. What is it? What am I talking about? Try. The relationship between you and your ancestors is very important. Find the time. You need to find the time. So that you prosper in life. So that you grow in life. A time will come. You will be on the other side. And you wish that someone 
will call on you and have that relationship with you to give you that strength for you to be coming to this realm. I'll stop here by saying much love from me, Nanaya Sankofa, in your area on Eye of Ancestors Kingdom. Ashe. Ashe. Ashe.